All right, guys. I'm Ian Clem, Vortex Optics. I'm uh, very happy to be here. It's, it's really cool for me to spend some time with some like-minded people talking about rifles. Uh, 45 minutes is not a lot of time to get into more detail on scopes, but I'm going to try and hit some really important uh, topics that I think debunk some myths, go against some some dogma that's been incorrectly propagated over the years about how scopes work and how they don't work and that sort of thing. Uh, this isn't going to be like a 45 minute commercial for Vortex. Uh, that always kind of pisses me off when you've got a captive audience and a, a vendor will just push the product. So this is going to be sort of in general for all scopes. So what we're going to go over, I'll give you a little bit of context so you know where I'm coming from. We're going to talk about glass quality and address some misconceptions that are out there on glass quality in general. We'll talk about scope brightness, what that means, how important is it. We're going to talk about magnification versus internal range of adjustment. That's sort of one of the larger trade-offs that people have to deal with when they're considering purchasing an optic. We'll talk about scope tube diameter, um, what, it, what it buys you, what it, what it doesn't. Um, we're going to touch on repeatability of adjustments. Um, I want to give you guys some insight into what makes a repeatable adjustment, maybe how you can diagnose an adjustment that you'll think is repeatable. We'll talk about first focal plane versus second focal plane, um, some of the trade space there, uh, what one is good for versus the other. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to review some mounting do's and don'ts. Um, this is really just sort of best practice, things that we've learned mounting just tens of thousands of scopes. Uh, what exactly is parallax? Um, there's some misconceptions on that that I'd like to clear up. And then finally, we'll talk a little bit about Mirage. What is it? Um, how can you use it to your benefit? Basically, you know, these scopes are like, they're like the black box of the system. Um, I don't think the, the scope industry has done itself many favors in terms of educating um, all, of you, all of you guys about what goes on inside the scope. Um, they've sort of kept that mysticism going, but you know, you tend not to trust the thing that you don't understand. So oftentimes if you have a poor result, you know, I, I was a common offender of this, I would, I would say, well, it's gotta be the scope, you know, and, and start playing musical scopes and try and find a magical scope. But I want to I want to show you a little bit about what's going on in there so that you understand a little bit better. Okay, so my background, I basically uh, from an early age was really interested in precision marksmanship. So went to school for engineering, uh, went out east to the DC region, and worked for a couple um, Beltway Bandits doing some weapon system design. 